Hey guys, this is me at the Back on Ice Industry, and today I am going to be showing you guys how to make an easy paper pinhole camera. Now, this one's a bit more fancy than what you need to make. You just basically don't need this uh, cylinder, these panels, and this. Uh, I actually, you need this guy to cover up the light. Uh, so, you can't actually see through it right now because I have my lights all the way around my room. So yeah, but uh, you can see it uh, in this way. There's a window in that direction, so I'm just pointing there. So you can see sunlight through it very clearly. Uh, it will form very nice images in here in the projector screen. And this is what I'll be teaching you how to make today. So also stay tuned at the end because I'll be showing you guys a view of my window through the camera itself. And it actually works. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Enjoy the video. So let's start with the materials we're going to be using to make our pinhole camera. And it's very simple. We're just going to be using a simple cardboard paper and a translucent piece of paper, which I got out of a sticker card. And yeah, they have like really slippery, smooth, uh, translucent paper. So I'll be using that as my projector screen. And we also have some ordinary craft items. Also, I'll be putting some lenses at lenses in the pinhole camera at the end of the video to just do some random experience experiments. So yeah, I've got three super cool lenses lenses with me right here. Now, so this one is basically a an ordinary little glass slab. No power is just a glass slab. And it's in triangle shape, pretty sharply cut and very scary looking. So yeah, I've got a sharp piece of glass in my house now. And it looked very cool, so I still have it. And I've got the strongest lens, the strongest concave lens in my house yet. This is straight out of one of my broken glasses. Uh, I forgot its power, but it's probably three, uh, two, two point something magnitude uh, minus. It's it's. Of course it's concave so it's in minus and uh, you, you can see the blue reflection that's just ordinary blu-ray there's nothing much to that oh uh, so yeah I've got a strong concave lens and right here I've got a super super strong convex lens now how did I get that I got it straight out of a microscope now I my mom had one and I had it in my drawer until recently when I decided to break it and this is how what I got from the top piece that could like zoom in and out so yeah it had one of these things and yeah, it's a thing I I bet it's very powerful I don't know if it's really that powerful though because I don't have any means to test it so yeah I've got three super OP lenses on me and I might do some random experiments at the end but for now we're just gonna simply create one simple little pinhole camera okay I'll put this aside <coughs> so we're gonna start with our simple cardboard I'll actually take off one of my gloves because I'll need to work with tape on this one alright so uh, how we're gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? We are gonna need. I think I have a plan. Let's do this. Fold it in half like this first. Uh, should we go like that? like this I think like that is better so yeah let's do that now we are just going to be attaching our piece of translucent paper onto this cardboard like this so for that we are going to need where's my pencil to trace it out uh, 
like this. So we need to cut something like that in, inside there. But that comes later on. We have other things to do first. Like folding this in that direction. And I don't know how big of a hole it should be or how much distance between each of these places but I think about this big is enough right so I'll quickly measure it up just some rough measurements and we have a perfect um, almost a cube so we need to cover the other areas with our cardboard right here I'm guessing this big is not big enough actually so we might need to do a bit of a change in there so let's use another piece of cardboard as well like this and how big so, okay. that might be a bit too big so let's fold it like this Oops. Now we have most of it ready. Let's measure the center of our camera itself so we can actually make the pin so there is the center let's make uh, our hole right now so we don't have to bother with it later on I'm just gonna go for one tiny hole using our compass right here and we need to cut out the projector screen as well so let's do that right now Okay, and we can put our transparent piece of paper right at the top.
like that. All right, so we should have most of the pieces ready. Now let's put these together. And it doesn't really matter how you put th uh, this guy together just because it's not gonna cover up the hole as long as it doesn't cover up the hole it's fine uh, make sure you don't cover up the hole that's all there's nothing special you have to do here okay that's done I think that's mostly done now this should actually be all our camera is about but it's been a really long time since I made this. I was introduced to Pinel cameras by my dad when I was grade 2, that's 8 years ago. So let's see if this one actually works. I don't know the signs behind this as well, but I do know that there are like rays of light coming from to the hole and it gets like bent that way and then they project on this screen yeah, something like that very cool so yeah I wanted to try it on my channel as well oh wow that's actually a perfect shape very very freaky that's exactly perfect shape okay so let's stick it there then. If you haven't seen my last video on science crafts, then you should probably go and check it out. It's about this guy which is a floating table and it looks like it's floating but there's a pretty cool science behind it so yeah just a random plug of my previous video before I put the slab in there okay so let's put it there That's one side completely covered and I think we are not supposed to have open areas like that so I'll think about covering it up later on. For now I'll quickly cover this guy up as well and I'll see when it's done. Alright so I finished the camera I believe so I did some tests and this looks really really nice it just it just like displays the lights but with no colors of course uh, but it's still so cool that the images are rear are inverted and real yes and yeah I put these uh, three pieces just to cover up the light and this one I thought I'd test the lenses so I put a tall point just to test the lenses but it doesn't really work so plain old this guy works perfectly fine and I wish I could show it to you all but I don't know how I can show it to you without like the light hitting from the other direction so I'm quickly gonna snap you guys out of the camera and I'll show you in the window direction to see if it actually works 
So I don't know if you can see this, but right in the center of the screen is my window being projected on camera. So yeah, as you can see, it moves around from the center. And it looks really cool off camera. Like, I mean, it just nullifies all the coolness on camera. So you guys should probably test this out yourself. And also, I forgot to mention, um, I made the hole a bit bigger on this guy. So let me take you back on the window. Right there, look at that. I can see almost everything, but the camera keeps focusing on its own, so I can show the farther part of the window. Uh, it, the camera keeps like giving its own light, so preventing you guys from actually being able to see it. But here's the actual camera. I think that's all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.